I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the School of Maths and Physics at UTAS. I work on active black holes, uh, and they're the biggest, baddest black holes in the universe. They're more than a million times heavier than the sun. Uh, and if you want to figure out why the universe today looks the way it does, you really need to uh, figure out how these explosions interact with their surroundings. When people think of black holes, they typically think of things that suck matter in, kind of like a sink or a plug hole. But it turns out that the black holes can overeat, and when they do that, they, they need to release a lot of energy, and they do that through spectacular explosions. In fact, these are the most powerful explosions in the universe, and they're things we can see through telescopes. What I really love about uh, my work is that you need to know black hole physics in order to be able to understand what's going on here on Earth. I use the active black holes as beacons to determine really accurate positions on the Earth's surface. It's a bit like the stars that sailors used to use to navigate. By astronomical standards, stars are fairly close to Earth. They're within our own galaxy. But black holes are much more distant. And that means that they're effectively fixed points on the sky, and we can determine positions on the Earth's surface with much better accuracy. All GPS satellites are completely tied to these positions on the Earth's surface measured using black holes. So your satna wouldn't work. Planes wouldn't be able to fly. You wouldn't be able to answer any climate questions such as melting of polar ice caps and sea level rise. I was born in the former Soviet Union, uh, and one, when I was 11 years old, my family moved to Hobart. I did a Bachelor of Science degree, uh, and I, I knew I wanted to do physics, but I really had no idea which part of physics that was going to be. So by the time honours year rolled around, uh, there happened to be a very interesting project in astrophysics. I took that on and have never looked back since really. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship to do my PhD at Cambridge, where I worked on active black holes, and a couple of years later, I came back to UTAS to take up the position that I have now. UTAS is unique in that we're the only university in the world that operates its own array of radio telescopes. So we have telescopes in Hobart, we have them in Western Australia, South Australia and the Northern Territory. They all observe together at the same time as part of a global network. Well, the great thing about being a scientist is you get to do lots of interesting and very diverse things. But probably the coolest thing of all is the feeling that you get every now and then, and that's the feeling of discovery. The knowledge that at that point in time, you're the only person in the world who understands something completely. It's your own little secret that you've, you've stolen away from, from the rest of the universe. And until you choose to share it with someone, it's, it's yours and yours only. And that's a pretty awesome feeling.